My name is Alison Wilcox, and I'm here to talk to you about a book I co-authored with Adam Bushnell called Descriptosaurus, Story Writing, Language in Action. As the name suggests, there are three components to the book, Descriptosaurus, Story Writing, and Language in Action. There are four stories, The Ninja Bread Girl, Captain Moody and His Pirate Crew, Ruby Red, which is a version of Little Red Riding Hood with an unexpected twist, and finally, Jack and the Crystal Fang, which takes the form of a legend. So what is a Descriptosaurus? A Descriptosaurus is based on three main areas, settings, including landscapes, settlements, atmosphere and senses, characters, including appearance, personality and emotions, and finally creatures, including pets, which is very important for this age group, and that's split into appearance, personality and abilities. Whilst a dictionary gives the meaning of a word, and a thesaurus an alternative, a descriptosaurus teaches pupils how to describe a setting or character. Descriptosaurus story writing, language in action, operates on three main principles, explore, experiment, apply. Step one, words. The design of this new resource for younger pupils uses a table format to group nouns and adjectives in complementary categories, and the relevant verbs are listed in the same order. Try cutting up the table into strips to experiment with new vocabulary to describe a setting, character or creature. Step two, phrases. From many years of research and working with young writers, it has become evident that they find phrases easier to remember, merge into sentences and apply in their writing. There are a variety of phrases organised in a table format. Try cutting up the table into strips and allowing pupils to experiment with different combinations of phrases to create sentences. Step three, sentence models. The sentences are split into two levels, which can be used either as models appropriate to the age group or to provide pupils with the opportunity to investigate and discuss the next step in their progress. Step four, exploring the text. Using the stories, explore and highlight words and phrases to describe a setting, character or creature. Use the Descriptosaurus chapters to collect additional vocabulary. Add both to a vocabulary notebook. Step five, exploring and experimenting with grammar. Teaching grammar need not be a tortuous, tedious, decontextualized process of rote learning and endless exercises. The main emphasis should be on knowledge and application of language skills to improve their writing, be it spelling, punctuation or grammar. Instead of labelling or identifying word classes, try this, these quick activities which embed knowledge through experimentation in a real context. So the first one, just go through the different word classes to create a sentence. So step one, what is your sentence about? Step two, describe it or them. Step three, what is it they do? And step four, where or when? Using each individual strand, you create a completed sentence. So for example, from the one above, the thick twisted branches spread across the path. The second activity, builds on the first one and deals with changing each individual classes. So for the first one, change the noun. So branches could become roots. Step two, change the adjective. So the thick twisted could become huge crooked. Step three, change the verb. So for example, spread could become wriggled. And finally, step four, change the prepositional phrase. So across the path, could become, for example, over the ground. From, so from the original sentence, the thick twisted branches spread across the path, we now have huge crooked roots wriggled over the ground. Step six, application. For each story, there are a number of exercises which provide pupils with the opportunity to apply the words and phrases collected from the stories 
and the Descriptosaurus chapters to substitute their own word or phrase choices in a set sentence structure. These progress to substituting, for example, their own expanded noun phrases, similes, or prepositional phrases. Step seven, exploring and experimenting with joining sentences. There are a variety of main clauses and conjunctions organized in a table format. Cut the table into strips and allow pupils to experiment with different combinations of main clauses and conjunctions to form appropriate compound or complex sentences. Step eight, application. Use the sentence stems provided to take this a step further to complete the sentence with their own main clause. Using the stories, breaking them down, working with them in smaller chunks and innovating the structures, not only gives pupils knowledge of how to construct a sentence or text, it gives them confidence to experiment and use what they have learned in their own writing. A handout will be uploaded to the portal, which gives additional examples and a more detailed explanation of the main features of the 